Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Step-by-Step -Step Art Drawing with Mrs. Weintraub. Today, we are going to be talking about Wayne Thiebaud, the famous artist, pop art artist, who loves to do still life art of food. But today, we are going to be looking at Wayne Thiebaud's cupcakes and creating cupcakes. So this is his famous for cupcake picture. Notice he uses shadowing to show the shadows of each of them by shading in next to each cupcake. And he makes all different flavored cupcakes. Mmm, we're really hungry for cupcakes today. So the first thing you're going to need is a blank piece of paper, a pencil, some crayons or markers or color pencils or anything you have at home to color in with and a black marker to outline our sketch with. And always make sure that you have an eraser handy. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do for our cupcake is we're going to draw the bottom of the cupcake. So what I need you to do is draw two diagonal lines and close it off on the bottom with a straight line. So please do that now. And then you are going to bring a sideways C into it. So that's gonna be the base of our cupcake, okay? And on this line right here, we are going to make zigzags for the top of the cupcake. So please start on the left side on the C, and I want you to make a zigzag line going up and down, 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 up and down all the way till you hit the edge on the right side. So we're going to give it the illusion that it's going to go all the way around. Um, so we're going to erase the bottom line afterwards. So I'm going to take my finger, because it's a dry erase board. You're going to take your eraser, and you're going to erase that line that was underneath the zigzag that we originally did to make the curve. If you erase too much, please go back and just trace over on the edges so you have it there. And make sure you can see your zigzag line. After you do that zigzag line, I want you to bring straight lines down from the middle of the zigzags to the bottom to make your cupcake holder. So here we go. We're going to make those straight lines straight down all the way to the bottom. We're going to keep going so it looks like it's the illusion that it goes all the way around. After that, we are going to start to add the cupcake. So we're going to come out a little further over here and make a, a, a C. Okay, we're going to start to make a C. But we're going to bring it straight up high. Just like that. And then we're going to bring it backwards C, straight up high. Okay. And then we are going to add the first layer of icing. So the first layer of icing is going to kind of look like a lima bean. So watch how I do that. I'm going to add, I'm going to bring those lines into the lima bean to show where the bottom of the cupcake is, our base, which is the cake. And now we're going to add the icing or the frosting. Then we're going to do a second layer. So we're going to come up and around into the second layer. And then we're going to add our third layer of icing, which is going to look like a wave. See that? And we always put a point at the top to show where when we're, Actually putting the icing on the cupcake when we go around it. We always it comes out with a point on the top Then we are going to add a cherry. So for the cherry I need to add a round circle on top right there and I'm going to add the stem so I'm going to make a U and Then another parallel U line and I'm going to close it off and round it out for the stem and then you can add sprinkles or any kind of decoration on each layer so here i'm going to make little rectangles in different directions for the sprinkles and we're going to put that all over the icing some long some short you can make them in any shape you want you can do circles you can do um stars sprinkles come in all different shapes and sizes and then after i'm done with this I am going to outline it with a black marker um, and maybe I want to draw a plate that it's sitting on underneath. 
So I'm going to draw two circles around the bottom to show that it is sitting on a plate. So have fun creating it. Add a lot of color. Um, add a lot of decorations. And I can't wait to see your creativity. Have a great day.